how do you keep up to date with everything that's going on? And inter- things that are happening in our community, I feel like it's a natural thing that I'm always seeking, but it made me take a step back. And so I want to talk about that with y'all. Um, how do you, if we, if you just take, again, two steps back, how do you stay engaged and to make sure that, to your point, we're not as active as, as um, you know, absolute shout out to folks like Tamika Mallory that are doing the work every day. But how do you stay abreast enough of what's happening so that when you do lean into the conversation, you know what's going on? And Toby, I'll start with you. Oh, I'll be honest with you. I don't stay abreast for everything that, that's going on. I stay plugged mm-hmm. into people like, you no, know, I promise, bro, I got kids. I got babies who you know, and a wife. I've been married for almost three years now. We fresh in this. If I gave the streets more attention than my my family, I would look like a whole goofball out here. So I stay connected. I got uh, people like Trey. I got people like the majority of the people I grew up with who I could tap in with and know exactly what's going on uh, at the ground level. And then just understand how to maneuver. Like earlier this year, we made a stop killing black people shirt, which is a tragedy that we got to make a message like it allowed us to give it allowed us to give one hundred thousand dollars to the families that were affected by, it. Uh, you know, what I'm saying that that had their people killed. But that's just a part that I can play with the platform that I that, that we have now. You know, what I'm saying so I just like keep my ear to the street that way and then literally figure out. What's the best way that I can use my platform uh, uh, or, uh, or do anything to actually do? Raps, the same question to you. How, how do you make sure that you you stay just ahead of what, what's happening in the community? Uh, I ain't got no kids, so I got all the time in the world. But uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, to be real, social media has been uh, the biggest thing for me. Um, there are certain... Um, organizations that I follow, um, you know, I'm on Twitter sometimes and I, you know, when, when news hits, you know, I, I'll catch it. So that's been the biggest thing for me as well as, you know, Toby making sure, you know, I'm connected with those individuals <clears throat> that their life work to know what's happening every day. Um, you know, whether it be again, my son or, or Tamika or Trey, um, you know, and they, they, they are in it every day. People give them the information. So, you know, those are the, the, the two, my community of friends that do that work and social media for me. Bumby, same question to you. How, how do you make sure that you, you're, you're up to date? Well, you know, there's, a, there's an old saying that people make time for what they, what they care about, right? And so, you know, the same way that we can figure out when some new Jordans is coming out, when so-and-so is coming to town, What's the new clothes to be wearing right now? If this is your concern, you can make time for that too. You know what I'm saying? You shift your worldview, you shift your viewpoints, and you shift your interactions. You know what I'm saying? So um, you don't follow all the things that you used to follow, right? In terms of modern media, social media, all of those different things, right? You shift your viewpoint. Or you shift um, your information channels, right? Like where do you get your everyday information from? Um if you have concerns, let's say, for example, you want a red car, right? You just want a red car, right? Then you're going to start going to all these different websites and you're going to start typing in the color red to look at all the things that they have available for you red. And so that's kind of what happens when it's time for you to to educate yourself and become motivated and, and get involved and activated in these concerns, right? You just start searching for the people that are already occupying that space. You know, there are people who have continuously been out here trying to prove that Black Lives Matter since the first time we heard those words, right? And there's been years in between the first time we heard it and the predominance of the term in this year. But that whole time, day for day, there were people out here fighting to to ensure that Black Lives Matter in this country. And so it's not hard to do what you decide that this is what you really want to do. Now, I can understand Tobe having young children in the house, having a wife and a family, there's certain things that take priority, right? And once those concerns are met, any additional time that we have, we'll give that to to the needs of our community, right? But for those of us like Rhapsody who don't have those other responsibilities, we got all the time in the world to activate and motivate out here. You know what I'm saying? We're ready to engage. We're looking for a time and a place and a reason, you know? So once you you make a, a conscious decision 
that this is who you want to be and this is the space that you want to move in. There are people out there, hundreds of people, right? Dozens of organizations, local and nationwide, ready to accept you, inform you, and activate you in a minute. 